Thanks for checking back in. Today we're picking up where we left off in last video by covering how to attach your block attributes to block entities. In doing so, DraftSite allows you to clearly include crucial information, like manufacturers, sizes, styles, etc., to your objects in your designs. Once you've created and placed your block attributes in the drawing window, it's time to connect them to a block entity. Simply locate and select the Define Block icon in the Block Definition section of the Insert tab in the ribbon. Then, a Block Definition window will appear, containing block creation settings for you to customize. You'll fill out the prompted information just like you would any other block. However, when you reach the step of selecting the entities in your block, by clicking the Selecting Graphics Area icon, you'll select your block attributes along with the block entity they describe. Then press OK. And an Edit Block Attribute Values window will pop up double checking that your block attribute information is correct. Once you're satisfied with your labeling, press OK again. And your attributed block will appear. Keep in mind that every time you insert another version of your block, DraftSite will give you the option to change its attributed values. Likewise, this is where the order in which you select your block attributes matters when creating your blocks, because the first attribute you select will be the first value you'll have the option to revise. I hope this post encourages you to experiment with adding detail to your DraftSite drawings with block attributes. If you're looking to learn more, visit the blog page or visit DraftSite.com.